Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make a awesome intro in After Effects. Just wait till that loads. Loading. This is going to be a good intro. Well, I'm going to show you how to make one in After Effects. This works for Mac or PC, and you have to have the full version. So, if you like just got the free trial for 30 days, that's not going to work. You have to actually buy it. So for the effects and presets to work and stuff. Okay, so you go on composition, new composition, make the background black, go on next, go on layer, new solid, make it also black, and go right click here, new text. Now on the text, you could use whatever font you want and whatever color and whatever size. It's a huge name. Well, not certain name, username. And I'm gonna click all this and make it a bit bigger. It's about that big. Then you're gonna go over here on the arrow, to my own mouse. Drag it to wherever you want and make it how big you want it. So I'm just gonna do it that big. Right click new text. And then you're gonna do www.youtube.com com slash user slash user name for the actual thing to work and make it smaller you use whatever color you want I'm just gonna use this greenish color I think it kinda looks cool And if you want, you could add a glow effect, which would make it a bit better, more professional. Just drag it on here. Make it 64 and make this glow radius about 20. So, okay, yeah. I'm gonna grab the glow effect, put it on there. This 20 and make 64. There. And yeah, there you got it. And then you're gonna make the letters appear because it's just gonna be boring to watch. Just you know, it's gonna be kind of boring. So uh, you could use whatever you want. You could use any of these to make it um, come in. But I'm gonna use CC lens because I think it's cool effect. I'm gonna open that. Go effects. CC lens size and make it zero. Then you gotta click this, the time thing. Go all the way to two and make it about um, 500 or the most it can go. Might be different for you, then just get off that. And if you watch it, it's gonna look something like this but you probably want the YouTube thing to also come in pretty cool use different effects for that I don't really doesn't matter which effect you use but I'm just going to use Jaws because I also think that way is a good way to come in for the second part go over there go to effects you see Jaws go on here make it uh, all black, so 100%, and then, oh my god, yeah, about over here, maybe, like, almost there or something, make it 0%, you get off that, and then, that's how the intro should look, that's coming in, the username starts coming over there, mm. But if you want to add more, since it's only 4 seconds and it's not that much, you can also add a lens flare. So if you go on black solid and then search up lens, lens flare over here. You can see there's a lens flare. And you don't want to maybe put that over there, maybe give it a good effect. And if you want to make it move, just go open that, go to effects, lens flare, 
Then over here, let's go to the timer. And then when you can dra drag it up to six maybe. And move it like about here. And then that would give it a good effect for the intro. <sighs> I feel like I can make the jaws effect a bit longer because it's kind of weird like that. And then that moves over. I want to move this a bit through there. Yeah, so where I want to stop it goes. And if you don't like the lens flare over there, you just go on flare brightness on uh, zero when you reach over here. We're actually going to use it. You go on. Yeah, about that bright. I don't want to make it too bright. So that sort of gives it a good effect over here. So just starting and then it actually gets to work over there. With this uh, Jaws effect, maybe a bit um, quicker because it's kind of slow. Open it, sissy Jaws. So I want to make this that. Gonna make it go about right. Yeah, right here, we're just gonna be. Yeah, it's about good. Now press play just to watch it. Wait, I'm gonna get off that. That thing won't show up. And now it's kind of slow, but you probably make it earlier if you want. I'm not. This is just the. Getting so yeah. Okay, so that's all but um also if that's how you want it, you wanna save it to your desktop, go on composition, add to render queue. Then um you should go over here, click that. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna call it intro tutorial. Uh, let's save it and then press render and this I don't want to have anything open like you're like playing Minecraft or checking that well this is rendering because it's just gonna take longer it's gonna lag so it's just like yeah I'm just gonna wait till that's done and um when that's done I'm just gonna wait till it's actually done so I can show you Okay, yeah, this is almost in. Yeah. Okay, then. Let's go. And the lens flare is moving. And. Okay, let's go until it loads. It's done rendering. It's almost done. Yeah. This usually takes a while. It's not that long though. Just a few minutes, about maybe one to two minutes, something around that. Uh. And almost there. Okay, this is almost done. Okay. That one uses over it's just one frame or whatever. That's gonna 
And I think that's enough, so you're gonna press stop over there and exit. It's loading. Yeah. Don't save, but if you want, you can save it. I don't really. Doesn't really matter if you do or not. Just gotta keep it. Yep. Okay, so. The thing you saved is gonna be on your desktop. So if you wanna add music or just edit some of it, just get iMovie over here. Yeah, I mean, it's free for the iMac, so just use that to edit, put on some music. But if I already want to use some non copyright music, so then the copyrights and stuff will be all mad, and then like, they might cancel your videos or something, I'm not really sure, but. You might want to get some Kevin MacLeod music. He has a good copyright music. You get it royalty free. I'll put that in the description probably and slag it out from waiting. Okay. Then you go on file. Waiting. Oh, we're the lagging so much. Yeah. Usually I don't think. Go on import movies. And it's loading. Okay. Then um, you on desktop. Find your intro over here. Import. And it's gonna optimize the video. So you can like, speed it up or something, or slow it down or add, or add a freeze frame. You're just gonna wait till that's done. And optimizing video, optimizing movie, I mean. Um, it's just gonna load. Oh. Okay. Okay, so gonna find your intro. Go over here. Wait, no, that's not the one, sorry, that's the intro I made for someone. Okay, so you go over here and that's the intro, so you drag it onto here and put on the music. That you want, so I'm just gonna get this music because it's probably the coolest. One sky like dub stuff or right. Okay. So then you could just choose which part of the music or song you want. So it's gonna get the best part or it's the part I like the most for the intro. Right. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's clips. So let's try this here. Again. Okay. Okay, yeah, you can use that if you want. Then. Okay, yeah, maybe. So yeah, that's basically the intro. Let me go share, export movie, call it whatever you want. And I'll go on the desktop as a film, or you can just keep it here. Edit your movies, put them over here. You want to share YouTube and upload them. And uh, yeah, that's basically all. That's how we make an intro in After Effects. If this helped you, please subscribe, like, comment, or yeah. Bye.